22 books of the Torah are free. Now, in the end, it's it's the fact that there's 13 Antiochuses of the Seleucids. The first 10 of the 10 horns of the fourth beast, and the, the last three of the three brought low, and after the 13th Antiochus, up comes Pompey, desolates the Jewish temple, General Pompey of Rome, in about uh, 67, 65, somewhere around there, BCE, before the Cotton era. That was the fulfillment of things. Now, Israel believed the prophecies of Daniel, and it, it marshaled the spiritual dynamics of a nation, of, of the world, in the sense of the time. It marshaled what was going on, because it was believed upon it, and it had faith in it, and it was probably prayed upon and honored and served, and it got so far into it. And uh, the prophecy was, to a degree, fulfilled. Largely, the things came to be. Then we get to Daniel chapter 12. At that time, Michael is supposed to rise up, and the resurrection is supposed to occur on planet Earth, as Daniel chapter 2 makes clear. It's supposed to happen on planet Earth, and the saints are supposed to come up from the grave and rule man, uh, the everlasting kingdom for it, ever and ever and ever. It didn't happen. The reason it didn't happen is because that spiritual dynamic is something which requires, uh, it's, it's more than just a thing which is, is honored on faith and prayer. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's God going to actually have to raise, raise the dead and change the system of people from death to life. And people have died because of their sinners. You don't die if you repent of all your sins and follow Torah. If you commit to Torah and repent of all your sins and keep on obeying God, you stay alive. A psalm promises that, in fact. Torah is life and it just leads to eternal life. And the people who have died have all chosen to be proud of the God at the end. To do it their way, rather than obey the Lord and keep the covenant and keep the faith. They, they haven't, in the end, submitted to Tara, the teaching of Tara, 22 books of the Torah. The reason the prophecy failed, because it wasn't God's prophecy, it was just something that the Jews produced, Daniel produced, and they believed it, and honored it, and it was prayed over, and fulfilled as much as could be through prayer and belief and faith in it, but it failed, because it wasn't God's prophecy, it was Daniel's, and it was their own agenda. And all of Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel and Isaiah and Joel and Amos and Obadiah and Co, they're their own waffle. It's their own agenda. It's their BS bullshit. It's the 22 books of the Torah. The general principle is we accept the Bible as Karaites. But those books are removed because they're not scripture and they're actually contrary to spiritual truth, ultimately. They're false prophets. It's not the will of God, it's not the word of God, and it's not the plan of God, and it's not the vision of God. The prophetic ramblers. 22 books of the Torah is the canon of the Amen, and I think that's that conclusion is stronger now, not quite resolute yet, but it's stronger now, and that's our official position, 22 books of the Torah.